Hello everyone. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm starting this vlog the day I'm supposed to be uploading this. Well, like on a Sunday, but we've just like a lot has been going on. So I'm gonna catch you guys up in a quick little, hopefully like one minute recap and then I'll start the vlog. So we, as of this week, have orders. So I'm not gonna be sharing exactly where we're going yet just because i don't really know i mean i guess i could share right now but i kind of just want to get there and then i will upload it'll be like within the next couple weeks that we'll be there so i you will know soon for anyone who is not military adjacent normally you can get your orders within 120 days of your report date meaning you can have orders well in advance. That's not always the case, but you can. The goal is 120 days before your report date. Our report date is early April. We got actual orders Thursday, Thursday this week. So we don't really have a whole lot scheduled. We have the movers scheduled, which by the time you see this, I think the movers will have come already, hopefully. <laughs> Just know, we have a very short amount of time to, to move from here to the US. We are going to be stationed in the US, which that's what I wanted to talk about a little bit in this video. I am devastated to leave. Like actually I've cried probably mm, since we've got orders, which was like, I don't know, four days ago. I've cried every day. <laughs> I love Germany so much and I know that it's become kind of like my personality that I am an American living in Germany, but Living here means so much to me and I am so sad that we're gonna have to leave. There's so many reasons why I want to stay and so many reasons why I wish we could stay, so many reasons I love Germany so much. So it's been hard, I think, accepting the fact that we're leaving, but it all works out and I'm already manifesting us moving back because like I've said a hundred times, I love it here so much, so. I don't know if you'll really be able to tell, but there are so many freaking holes in this wall. And I just patched up all of them. There's so many little ones up here. You get the gist. It's a lot. Another step of our process, we got Charlie Sky Kennel. And watch, she's already doing great. Charlie Kennel. Good girl! <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna have her sleep in this tonight, but we might, just to get her used to being in this. Look at her go. Our house is such a hot mess. I can't even, I'm overwhelmed. Update, so our movers come in two days and I've had food poisoning for the past two days so I would normally be more prepared for them to come but clearly I'm not. So I haven't eaten like anything in the last two days. I feel like awful so i mean it's gotten better over the last couple days but yeah so what unfortunate timing really it is now thursday i'm not feeling the best but our movers come tomorrow <sighs> so i'm trying not to panic but it's happening tomorrow and i don't feel ready at all i feel like our house is such a hot mess right now so jake and i are gonna work on stuff it's 2.48 right now, and I've officially finished working here, so that's sad. And I couldn't even, like, socialize at my job to, like, say bye to everyone because I just felt so bad this morning. <sighs> Not as bad as yesterday or the day before that, but just, like, I have zero energy. So <sighs> it's been rough. It's the worst timing, but... Um, we're gonna try and get through our list of things we need to get through today and 
we haven't even packed our bags yet. Like, oh my gosh. Good morning, oh my gosh. It is moving day. I have my do not pack stuff already put up. We're not packing this room, which is the bathroom, and Jake's room, which is like our guest bedroom. And we have a couple things we need to do before they get here, but they won't get here until the earliest is nine o'clock, which I'm assuming they're gonna be here at nine. So I'm gonna have everything ready obviously by nine, but I'm stressed. So I'm just ready for this day to be over, to be honest. But I will show you guys an overview of everything right now and then right before they get here. So this is basically all the decorations in our house is right here. And then this is like Jake's room that he put over here. We have like hung up paintings and like art and stuff over here. This espresso machine we're putting in a, on accompanied baggage along with like the grinder and all that stuff. So some of this stuff will be put away. I need to vacuum the couch before they get here cause she likes to hang out on it. And then what else? Our kitchen, we're probably gonna have like a couple things that they're not gonna move, but it's fine. Nothing in the pantry is going. So anything that we have that we're like not having them move, I'm just gonna throw in the pantry just because obviously they're not gonna go in here, so. So all of this stuff we're taking in unaccompanied baggage. It looks like a hot mess. It is a hot mess. It's all of Charlie's stuff. So I'm gonna take all this and throw it in here. We're gonna take her kennel, throw everything in her kennel, <laughs> and then move it to the other room. We're letting them take the embers, right? Movers are here. I'm about to head out to go get some waters for everyone and get out of the house, basically. This is the reality of moving. We throw everything in one room and say, hey, don't pack this. I don't know if they're gonna be back yet. But... Update. No. Update. This room is pretty much done, it looks like. All right, 11.22, we're pretty much there. We got our government furniture in. Don't know who scheduled that to come right now, but. Uh, do you want something to sleep on tonight? <laughs> what? Do you want a bed to sleep on tonight? <laughs> What'd you say he labeled it? Look, you put like two memory and model and all that. Oh, cool. And pillows. <laughs> I know this vlog is not going to be like super interesting or informative or anything, but. Hey, why am I still holding the I'm just documenting, so. All this stuff will be gone in like probably a couple hours. I feel so much relief. I hate having clutter and like, I just feel like knowing we were PCSing soon made me feel like there was just so much freaking clutter in our house. So, and I just was like, I'm gonna get rid of everything. Like I just, anybody else, when you go through a move, you're just like, just Wait, get rid of everything. The end of an era, literally. Hmm? So the end of an era. Hmm. Sad. Sad, sad, sad. It'll be okay, we'll be back. We will be back. And in my journal, I said by 2025, which I know is wild, because it's 2024, but listen. I can do anything I set my mind to, okay? Updates. Okay, everything is so much louder. <laughs> Welcome to our empty room. Then I'm going to start uh, cleaning up a little bit before we put the government furniture in here. It is so echoey, but it's so reminiscent to 2020 when we moved in. Get Charlie's reaction. What a pretty Charlie. <laughs> what a pretty end to long day. I love these windows so much. I'm gonna miss them.